you. The council also hearing talk on a big decision they will have to make at some point. What to do with the current water treatment plant once the new one's online. Both plants will operate for about 8 to 12 months before that old plant goes offline. That's expected to happen in 2026. Today, the council was presented with several options. One was to demolish the old site and use it for another purpose. Most of the options geared toward keeping the old plant for an emergency option in case something catastrophic were to happen with the new one. There are two different ways to look at it. I mean, we've we've never experienced an emergency of this magnitude for a water treatment system that lasted for uh, weeks or, or months, but that doesn't necessarily mean it never will. So it's really a question of how much risk do you want to take on? Uh, the committee recommending the council choose an option where the plant is used for emergency use. Only a temporary disinfection system would be built to avoid construction of a new disinfection building. It would treat groundwater only. It has the lowest cost and a short startup time compared to other options when it comes to emergency use. There's no timetable yet on when the council could make a decision on that.